example 17 in a differentiation topic. Um, we're going to look at differentiating inverse functions. Uh, it's a really uh, important part of, of calculus. It's another uh, type of differentiation to apply to our toolbox. Uh, we know that inverse functions exist. Sometimes they're algebraic and we can actually um, move, find the inverse function of a, a function x. But there's also functions that we can access which we can't really uh, investigate too much because they are things like inverse the, the inverse trig function, sin, inverse sine of x. We don't really have a way of rearranging it. It just kind of is where it is. So how could we differentiate inverse functions uh, where we can't uh, easily rearrange them? Well, we're going to look at a bit of the theory. We'll look at the actual practice in a minute, but what's the theory? What are we going to use in order to do this? So one fairly straightforward uh, equation that we can write is this, that dy by dx, derivative of a function of y could be expressed as 1 over dx by dy. As a fraction equation, that's true. It's just the inverse, 1 over the inverse of the fraction. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to introduce a few statements um, and we're going to say, okay, so we're, we're going to define some function y as the inverse function of x. Okay, so y is the inverse of x, which means that if I were to kind of apply the function to both sides, then we would have f of y equals f of inverse function of x. And you know from function notation that if you apply a function and its inverse, effectively they cancel each other out. So we end up with f of y equals x. Okay, So that's a really important uh, fact that I'm going to highlight. It's so important because I'm going to come back to it in a minute. So f of y, if, if y equals the inverse of x, then f of y is equal to x. It's also uh, f f true to say, therefore, that if I differentiate both sides of that, I end up with f dash y, or the inverse, or f prime y, is equal to uh, the derivative of x we can express as d dx by in terms of y, because we're differentiating both sides with respect to y in this case. Um, so we're not just going to 1. Uh, the point is that it would dif x would differentiate to 1 if we were differentiating with respect to x. Okay, So because we're differentiating with respect to y, our right-hand side becomes dx by dy. So we'll what we're seeing here is that we want to explore dy by dx, which in this case, because we're talking about the inverse function uh, f of uh, inverse of f of x, we can see that the derivative with respect to x of the inverse function of x is also being expressed by 1 over dx by dy, which we agreed at the top, well I agreed, hopefully you did too, that that's still mathematically valid. We've already though discovered that dx by dy in this case is also the same as just the derivative of f of y. So in this case here, we can say that it's also just 1 over the derivative of f of y. So we've made a few kind of equal statements or equivalent statements here. And basically what we're seeing here is that to find the, the derivative of an inverse function in x, all we need to do is to express it in terms of y, uh, find the derivative, and then stick it in a fraction like that. Okay, So that's what we're going to do. Right, let's have a look at this uh, example here. So this is an example that we could uh, differentiate uh, algebraically, and, I'll, and we'll, we'll, I'll show you, make the point of that in a minute. So we've got f of x, let's have a look. We're going to uh, find the derivative of the inverse of the function. So if f of x is x squared plus 2, then what we want to do to find the inverse is find f of y. Well, if we put substitute y into the function, we just get y squared minus 2. Okay. Now, here's the really important point. Remember what I uh, highlighted in the last screen, that f of y, when we're dealing with inverse functions, f of y equals x. Okay. Therefore, we can equate that just to x. Okay. Now, that means that we have, and this is what you've done before, hopefully, in terms of uh, uh, rearranging or finding the inverse of a function algebraically. If that equation is true, then we can also say uh, that 
y squared equals x plus 2, and therefore y is the square root of x plus 2. Okay? Now, in this particular case, algebraically, it would make sense just to go ahead and um, differentiate. So dy by dx um, would be, well, given the fact that that's x plus 2 to the power of half, the derivative would be a half multiplied by x plus 2. You take 1 away from a half to get negative a half. Multiply it by the ins derivative of the inside function, which is just 1. So my answer would be 1 over 2 times square root of x plus 2. That's That would make sense if I could differentiate the rearranged function in terms of y. What we're going to find is, in the other examples, that we can't do that. So we need a different route to the derivative. Okay. So what we do is, in actual fact, all we do is differentiate f of y. Okay, so let's have a look back at here. Here's f of y equals y squared minus 2. So we can say f dash y, f prime y, is equal to 2y. Okay, now on the previous screen, uh, what we were seeing here was that the derivative of the inverse function is just 1 over f dash y, which means that the derivative uh, is actually just going to be 1 over 2y. And it, what we do, we do need to get to this point here. So we do need to rearrange it. But all we can do is say that it's 1 over 2 times the square root of x plus 2. And what, it, what we've not had to do is to do this bit here. okay? Because we're going to come across functions that we can't actually differentiate. So we, we can take a wee U-turn. We go back to f of y, differentiate it and then use this arrangement here in order to find the, the derivative. So that's the theory behind it. Uh, in, in the next uh, example, a couple of examples, we're going to look at differentiating uh, inverse sine, inverse cos, inverse tan, and we're going to use these as our standard derivatives. Okay, so I hope that makes a bit of sense, uh, and you can go on and uh, investigate these inverse, uh, differenti differentiating inverse functions. Okay.